forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Oh, blue it. skies. It looks so nice out. All I that know. sunshine. You know, I think it's kind of like Honolulu blue. It's a sign mm. yes. that next year we're in the suit. That's right. And it oh, starts yeah. today. That's right. The countdown. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I know a lot of folks were groggy today. Hopefully the sun lifting them up today and getting them through the day after the Super Bowl. And yeah, all eyes set on next year. But right now, let's keep our eyes on this week's forecast because we're staying dry through the middle of the week, meaning your Valentine's Day plans will be dry out there. Temperatures kind of hovering on either side of 40 for the afternoon highs throughout the week. But we do have a chance for a passing wintry mix the later part of the week, specifically Thursday. But then we could see some snow arriving as early as Friday afternoon, taking us into Saturday, which we'll map out for you in just a moment. 38 degrees right now in downtown Detroit with calm winds, so that's the same wind chill as the air temp, but check this out. I mean, it's just really a beautiful shot out there with the sun beaming down, and anytime we can take sunshine in February, I'm sure you would agree we will. 36 degrees at Metro Airport, 35 in Ann Arbor, upper 30s when you get into Lapeer. Same at City Airport 37 down into Monroe. Now this storm system that's churning down to the south, we're talking south of Tennessee, that's going to continue to track to the northeast. So becoming a nor'easter but skirting us to the south. So we will not see any of the precipitation tonight or really over the next couple of days. We have to wait until our next weather maker that arrives on Thursday. So it's a sunny start to the week, 42 degrees at 4. I think we possibly could top out at 43 around 3 o'clock this afternoon. But clouds begin to build in tonight, 29 for the overnight low and looking ahead to tomorrow. Well, we will still have partly sunny skies, 38 for the afternoon high. We'll look at a chance for a passing flurry, but really uh, breezy with northwesterly winds sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts around 20. So you're going to feel those winds come tomorrow. Now I'm showing you clouds and radar as those clouds thicken up heading into tomorrow, but you can see here's that passing flurry that I'm looking at. You get some lake effect streamers in the northern part of the thumb, and I won't rule out a couple flakes come Tuesday afternoon. This won't amount to much, just a quick little disturbance that passes by, and then Wednesday will shape up to be drier. Now our next chance of seeing a more impactful system will be Thursday. So now I've started the clock at 8 a.m. where we start off with potentially some snow, but that rain snow line, we really have to hone in on the placement of that because if it looks like it's going to continue to lift north throughout the afternoon, rain mixes in and that really washes away any accumulation chances with the exception of up into the thumb. Then some scattered snow chances arrive Friday afternoon. That'll take us into Saturday as well. So we'll start to have more of an unsettled pattern come Thursday, but in the meantime, calm, quiet out there with a mix of some sun and clouds, low 40s the middle of this week, but seasonal 30s heading into the weekend.